and welcome back to more Pikmin! We're going to carry on from where we left off at the end of the last stream. Apparently we're on day 15, so here we go. And I'm just going to refresh myself as to what we were actually doing, because it's been a while. We're off to the distant spring, and we've got three of the many parts to find in this area, so let's see how many we can get through today. <clears throat> and it seems like there was some sort of Pikmin massacre because there are just sprouts everywhere. If I remember right, that scary water blob creature came down and killed everyone or squashed everyone. So first things first, we've got to pick up all of these little sprouts here. Oh, apparently he doesn't want me to go and pick that one up. I do feel a little bit rusty in my Pikmin gameplay as I haven't played it for a week now. I've been very busy doing other things. One of which is writing my new book. Which is making slow and steady progress. But I'm quite happy with it. So... I do not remember how to instruct the Pikmin. There we go. I'm going to have to relearn all these controls. Let's consult the map, see what we need to do next. <clears throat> we need to get some yellow ones out to blow up the wall. Right there, I think. That should be our next goal. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Let's just get a, a small number of yellow Pikmin. And if I remember right, there is some kind of bomb over here inside that skull. Let's see if they're still there. Yes, they are. And I thought I'd destroyed that wall over there, but apparently not. There we go. Again, not really sure why you'd want to go up there. Let's try doing two at a time. Ah, get away from there. <clears throat> okay, it's going to take a lot more. We might have to go and find more bombs somewhere else. Or I guess we can just go through like this. Oh, I suppose is the wall there to help you bring things back over afterwards. In that case, let's see what else we need to do. There is something very far over there. Should we try and aim for that one instead? As we can't blow up any more of that wall today. Let's put these yellow ones back. And we can swap that for a bunch more blue ones. And we'll be able to withdraw even more in just a second. There we go. Now we can pull the rest of them out. That should equal 100, including the ones that are on the floor. Oh, those horrible frogs. I just remembered how annoying they are. Right, we're still missing one, though, apparently. And it seems like all we need to do is just head straight up. I'm going to spend the whole day fighting this annoying frog. Get away from him! Oh. He's a lot easier to fight than last time. I've only lost one. Should we... I guess we did lose some, so let's send some back. I don't even know what's awaiting me at the other end. Probably something that needs a lot of Pikmin. Shame there's no Olimar, uh, Louis, or anything to get the other ones back over. Are we still heading the right way? Yes, we just got to keep going straight up here. Oh, 
I've been quite excited to play more Pikmin because I really did enjoy it last time. Okay. You don't need to pick anything up just yet. Let's just keep going around. I don't know if there's a better way of attacking these. I'll just keep doing this. Oh no. Take them out first and then focus on this thing. It's annoying not having the uh, homing attack like Pikmin 4. I got too used to that, to its quality of life enhancements. There we go, now we can just round them all up. I'll probably get something really good from killing this guy. Is this where it is on the map? Oh, this is it, yeah. I didn't need to go as far as I thought. There we go, let's see what was inside him. It was an interstellar radio. Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up moments of boredom. The dolphin, while comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. Let's cheer him up by giving him a little radio then. And we can also replenish any lost blue Pikmin with all these pellets here. Which is always good. You need two more, okay. I don't know why he went for that. Are they still alive? Do we need to go and kill them first? They're still alive. I'll try and help. Oh no. It's not working. Come over here. You don't even get any magic um, syrup or concoctions or anything to help the Pikmin fight faster in this game. So Pikmin 1 is definitely Pikmin hard mode. Let's see what we can actually pick up. Did the ones who were carrying the thing actually carry on? Is that them? Yeah, there they are. They're almost back. So for the rest of the day, we can probably just round up these guys and help them get back over there. Slowly but surely. There it is. It's nearly back. And there's a bunch more waiting for me. Interstellar Radio. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though I have no option but to continue my search rather than wait for a rescue party. Having to collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression not all parts are needed to fly the ship. Don't worry, we're definitely going to get all of them. We've got 23 out of 30, just need 6 more and I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. We can do it, and Sonus Leo is here in the stream. Good evening to you, Sonus Leo, how are you doing today? I've had a very stressful day, I had to do a customer demo at work, which is always fun, but... I got told to slow down a bit because I was rushing, so... I've got another one tomorrow. I'll take my time a bit more. And then after work, I had a mortgage meeting, so that was fun as well. And everything's going to get very expensive soon, so... Hooray for living in the UK. So I've been a little bit stressed today, so I'm just going to chill out and play some Pikmin. To unwind. And let's spend the rest of this day here collecting the rest of the stuff. Uh, finally got your analogue pocket. Yay, excellent. I've got mine right here. As I was playing Hime's Quest on it last time. And I finished my Hime's Quest review, so that will be up on Friday. And yeah, I record all my Game Boy stuff with the analogue pocket in the dock now, so... Hooray, welcome to the club. I was half tempted to get one of those new colours they announced, but at the same time I felt like kind of wasting my money considering I've already got one. Even though mine's one of the very early models, which means that some of the buttons don't quite feel right, which is really annoying because anyone who bought theirs after the initial run 
actually doesn't get the defect that I've got, which isn't good. And I could have returned it, but apparently it's uh, it's out of warranty now because I've had it like over a year. So I'm a little bit annoyed about that. That's why I only really use it when it's in the dark. So I don't really feel the buttons because I just use a regular controller anyway. But it is a shame that that first batch didn't really have the quality control. Yesterday you bought a new game for the NES. Nice, yeah, I've heard of that game. I haven't played it, but I've heard it's one of the best ones. That's pretty cool. Hmm, okay. Hit the rocks. What are you going to find in there? I don't think we need any more. We've got to fight that guy up there at some point. Look at him waiting for us. Maybe I should check out some more NES homebrews, because I've still only really dabbled in the Game Boy side of things. So, maybe NES is the next place to go. Or NES, maybe I should say, because some people get annoyed with me calling it NES. Uh, right, what do we need back here? Maybe... Maybe some red Pikmin? Let's put half of these blue ones back. Oh yeah, I want to get from below as well. Is it still up for purchase on his website? I forgot all about that, so thanks for the reminder. <clears throat> oh, you played it in multiplayer? That's cool. How does it differ to regular Tetris? I haven't really seen much much from it. The developer was sharing a little bit in my Discord. So that was that was cool to see, but if I'm completely honest, I've been kind of out of the loop of the homebrew stuff for a little bit. I've been trying to focus on other things. Oh no. Get out. Maybe this was a bad idea. I'm just going to brute force my way through. He's eaten so many of them, though! Oh my god. I'm just going to stand right underneath. Don't worry about them ones. Okay. That's two down. We lost 20 Pikmin in the process, but... Uh, maybe brute force in it was the right way to go. I suppose the best thing to do would be to get bombs and throw the bombs over there. Ah! Uh. Ah, this camera! Come on, he's nearly dead! And some of them are being picked up as well. Okay, he's dead. Now, what is this annoying thing? Yes, okay, attack! Attack, attack, attack! Keep keep attacking! Good, we've cleared the area out. A bit of a massacre, but we can replenish some of them. Right, I will take your recommendation and order myself a copy of From Below after this stream. Oh no, they can't get through yet. Okay, wait here then. Uh, what is up here? This is going to be awkward. I can't even get myself up there.
Uh, do I have to come up here with yellow ones? Oh shoot. Well, at least I can escape. Let's try and round everyone back up. So I need to come back here. Oh, I don't even need to come back with the yellow Pikmin. I can just send them up there. Anyway. Pretty stressful. First day. I've only got 63. Where's the other one? He's st still over there somewhere? Why are they there? Come out! Quick! Is this the new Pikmin? No, this is the first Pikmin. This is Pikmin 1. The Switch version. There you go, as you can see. And then maybe we'll move on to Pikmin 2 if we get through enough of this one. It must mean Pikmin 1 still holds up if you thought that this was the newest one. There we go. 15 days since impact. I wonder if I shall ever be able to escape from this world. How much suffering must I endure before I can finally see my family back home again? Still, when my heart grows too heavy, I take comfort in my efforts. I will get home, or I will expire trying. We will get you home. Captain Olimar, don't worry. We have a good plan for going back in here this time. Yellow Pikmin. Destroy the gate, bring all the stuff back through. And then carry on around that little maze area. So let's grab some yellow ones. Actually, maybe I'll get a mix. Get some blue ones as well. I'm not too fussed about specific numbers, but... Okay, I've still got a lot of red ones. Let's see which ones I'm using the least. 151 yellow. 502 blue ones. I've used blue the most. Wow. Oh no, don't tell me they've all come back to life. They have. What a waste of time. Last session. Oh well. Alright, let's start with destroying the wall anyway, then we can take on those enemies again. It might even take another day after this. So. That should be the next layer. And we've got one more to go, and we've got two more bombs. Although I think it might take three hits, let's see what happens. Yeah, we need another one. I don't know where to get another one. So, is there anywhere else we can get bombs from? There's a bunch of Pikmin stranded over there for some reason. And there. Well, let's try going around the other side. Oh, that's why they're stuck. They've been eaten. Oh, God damn it! we can't get through that way either. Okay. I'm going to head back, just pull out blue ones because they can go in the water. You guys will have to wait until the next day. Or maybe even the day after. I remember this is where I used to get really stressed playing Pikmin 1 because you are running out of time at this point. And there is so much left to do. It's kind of overwhelming. Okay, now they're all back home. We can bring all these ones out. Apparently there's one still hanging around somewhere. Okay, can I start walking? Come on. 
There's a whole bunch with flowers on their heads, so they can have this honey or nectar. What? Did, th did that one really take all of it for itself? That's unfair. Hey, there's another another thing to pick up there. Ooh, and we can break into this new area too. Right, I will send all of them to break down this gate. There we go. And while they're doing that, let's have a look over here. Will we get a description for this? I hope we've already seen it before. Apparently. So, I doubt there's any... Oh, there's something else new. There's a, a rubber ring. My pilot seat. Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order. Soon my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories. It's his cushion. Alright, have a good sleep. Thanks for dropping by. And I'll definitely check the game out soon. I didn't think Olimar would be strong enough to kill these things on his own. Ah, uh, come on. Do I just need to wait? Come on! Two more hits. Okay. Now we can kill it. That didn't take much. Okay, more nectar. Gonna be more for more than just one Pikmin this time. Good, good. Keep eating. And oh my god, there's so much to do here. Okay, now break this wall down. And we can keep exploring, see what else is going on here. There's so much to do. Can I actually kill this just by headbutting it, going around in circles? No. <gasps> What's going on over there? Oh no, too late. We need one more bomb to break that wall down and then we can send all kinds of different colours in. That one fell back asleep. And we can send red ones in there. This is where the game gets fun because you really have to think about the order in which you do things. Can we reach up there? Yes. Can they get back round to fix the bridge? Yes, they can. Just don't touch the fire. Please don't touch the fire. There we go. That's better. We can bring that forward a little bit. If some of them got stuck. It's nearly done now anyway. Really need more bombs. I don't know why they're being so sparse with the bomb placements. What do we do now? Let's see what else is here. There's another one in this corner. Oh, maybe we can take that back the long way around. At least we'll get something picked up this session. How many does it need? 25. Okay, 45, sure. And all these ones staying behind. Don't know where he's going. I don't want anyone to go that way. As long as they're coming over here, it should be safe. Let's bring this a bit closer too. Is that everyone? Oh, okay. Some of them are staying behind. Three. Where's he going? Uh, that's as far as I can get. They're just going to have to wait by this door, unfortunately. Uh, 
Right, okay, you guys wait there. Let's see, is there anything else we can do? There is some stuff right at the back. Shall we go and check out what's over there? Well, we've still got nothing but blue ones. So we just need to keep going, keep going, keep going. There's two things. Right back here, apparently. And kill these annoying tadpole things. Do I have to throw it at them? These are just here to waste time. And these annoying things too. I don't want anyone to carry anything off just yet. Just keep waiting here. Let's see if we can reach that. Okay, we have to do a l tiny little puzzle. Okay. We have to do that and then jump up here and throw these ones over, I guess. And a few more for good measure. Now, where are they going to take it? I don't want them to get too close to any any enemies. There's some more bombs there as well. Ooh, maybe we can find a way around. Find a way to bring some yellow ones in here. We might actually be able to open the door today. That would be pretty good. Maybe we can get all three. Is he not going to attack? Nope. Whoa, and a whole bunch of pellets too. Okay, let's bring this back over. Oh yeah, I never even said anything to it. Okay. It's easy on the eyes and fuel efficient is easy on the budget. Oh, okay. We don't even need to go all the way back. We can actually use that. Should we do that? No, they're back on land. Okay. No. I don't want anyone picking anything up yet because they're going to end up dying. So come over here. Stay there. Oh, there's another thing right up there, too. There we go. We got some yellow... Yellow seeds. I guess there's two things we can do with the yellow ones. We can also throw them up there. I'm going to try and do the uh, bomb stuff first. Ah, uh, stop dying. Come on. I thought I killed one then. That was close. Right, where were they? There they are. Okay, there's three bombs. That is enough to blow one wall up at least. So let's just take these three. We can leave the others. And take them the uh, hopefully safe route back without getting eaten. No, go away! We just have to traverse around these guys. Okay, that is one. Hopefully that's all we need. Yes, that's all we need. Now we can do this. Hopefully he's going to throw them at them and then run back. Really? Okay, let's try this. Okay, it kind of worked.
Okay. I don't think those two stand a chance actually doing any fighting. But good news is we got the door open. He's still alive. And now... Uh, what's the best thing to do now? We need to kill these guys, really. Let's actually leave that for the next day because they do come back. So... Okay, I'm actually just going to round everyone back up. Ah! I forgot I had yellow ones with me. The yellow ones will have to stay there for just a minute. I need to go and get these ones quick. Where's everyone else? Oh my god, stop drowning, please. Mm, I think the blue ones over there are gone. But we can try and get those ones. If we're fast. They're just up there. Oh, maybe we do have time. Where are the other ones? Here. Come on, can you hear me? Yes, we did it. We're still missing one, but that's not too bad. We'll just wait here for the night to end. Phew, we made a bit of progress again. Although we didn't actually pick up any parts that time. Which isn't great. Dun, 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 dun. Where's that solitary Pikmin being eaten alive? <laughs> Sixteen days since impact. The creatures of this planet breathe a deadly poisonous gas. Oxygen. At present, my spacesuit can filter the oxygen out, but if the batteries for my life support system should fail, I shudder to think about it. Oh no, the population's declining. We've still got so much to do! We're on day 17! I'm actually getting a little bit nervous now. I always hate it at this point in the game. We can do it. We can do it. I'm trying to remember what I need. Some more yellow ones to blow up the other walls. Make everything a little bit easier. Let's just start with these guys. Let's see. There is a wall over there that needs breaking too. And that one's nearly done as well. Excellent. We can get a lot done today because there's two things over there. I didn't even need to get five out, I just needed these two. So. It might only need that one. No, one more. Yay, there we go. Now we can get some. Well, I'll put the yellow ones back. I'll put the yellow ones back because we can swap them using that flower at the top anyway. Get a load more blue ones out, obviously. Uh, let's say 60 blue. And. Okay, 39. Where's the missing one? There's one over there. I guess he's planted in the ground. Yeah, there he is. Should we go and save him? Look at him more on his own. And they can have some nectar as well, if they find any. Nectar's always useful, it just makes sure all the Pikmin stay together. 
So we can just grab all these parts that I brought over. So that one we can send the blue Pikmin to. These two we can get right now. Let's do that first. And we also need a bunch of red ones to fight the boss up here as well. I wish they wouldn't drop off like that. It's annoying. Now we need a bunch of red ones to go and take out all those annoying bomb blacks, or whatever they're called. Yay, we got LMR seat back. Pilot seat. Picturing this in the cockpit, images of lifting off into space begin to fill my taxed brain. It fills me with inspiration once again. I have now recovered 24 out of 30 parts. If I find just five more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Here's another one. Then you only need four more. Zirconium rotor. Made of rust-proof zirconium. It's as shiny as new, despite being left out in the planet's harsh environment. I've now recovered 25 out of 30. We're getting somewhere! That was easy. That's how I plan to do this. Just throw some red ones out first. It is a bit more difficult because there's no lock on. It made fighting in Pikmin 4 a hell of a lot easier. Hey, come on, ignore that. Is it worth... Ah, oh, screw it, I'm just going to stick with this. Oh my god, have we done it without him eating anyone? Yeah! No, not quite. Almost. Almost. We lost five? No way. Well, we can use... Some of them. Right, if we just freeze everyone here, they can pick up whatever they want. No, there's nothing in the way. There is a piece over here. Okay, we'll wait for that. I guess there's nothing else for these red ones to do. We have to do this little bit of uh, sorting out the yellow ones up here. I think you can take ten. We have to wait for them to sprout. Let's see how everyone else is getting on. They're carrying a bunch of things back. There we go, they're starting to pop up. That's where he is. I was wondering where my dog went. Okay, come on everyone. There we go, something's come back. Don't even know what this bit was. Ionium jet number two. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage that's easy on the family budget, this jet will keep your space smiling and propel you to a happy home life. 26 out of 30. Three more pieces. Let's make it two more. Look how much higher the yellow ones can go. 
We need more. It's still early in the day. We can do it. We can get it all the way back. Even if annoyingly this Pikmin has no way of actually calling everyone back over. I really love that in Pikmin 4, the uh, the radar thing. Did one land in there? No way. That is 20. Don't walk off the edge. What are they doing? They've got stuck inside it. Yay, we did it. And then we've only got two more pieces left to find once this one's recovered. There we go, now it's down. We've got to pick the yellow ones up again and throw them in here. And make them blue again. There we go. Now we should have enough to carry this back. Found my Kronos reactor. Using a strange new technology, this machine is able to warp space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I'm constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. I don't know why he has so many parts. I feel like he was just getting sucked into all the marketing for everything. There's a bunch of red ones that I forgot all about right here. Let's see, what else do we have? We have the boss fight there. And we have one over here, which we can probably actually sort out right now, so let's just use these red ones to pick up whatever random stuff they want. I don't think I needed anything special for that one, so I'll just take these. 20 should be enough. Oh, did I need yellow ones? Probably do, actually. Let's quickly put some of these guys back and withdraw some more yellow ones. While well, we still can. Probably need more than that. Now we can get some more yellows. 27. Maybe enough? Let's make it... make it 30. This reactor changes permutations in space-time continuum into pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. I've recovered 27 out of 30 parts. If I can find just two more... I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. We're nearly done, everyone. Two more to go. We have this one over here, which should be easy. Shall we first make the rest of those yellow ones into flowers? Yeah, that's faster. Eat up. Did one of them miss? No, they all got it. Did they? Yeah, one of them did miss. <laughs> So I think all I need to do is that, and then just make my way around, right? Or is there more to it? Ah, they need to go on this bit.
No, oh, no, there's one stuck down there. Oh, fine, stay there. Stupid yellow one. I can see why this is a bit tricky, because you have to spend the time walking all the way around the side like this. But then once you get here, you should just be able to... Oh no! Gotta do it again. I'm gonna waste all my time getting this one! Where's the last one? Oh, it's that boss fight in the middle, is it? Yeah, okay. We're not going to be able to do that today, but in the next session, we can bring out all red ones and sort it out that way. Right, stay on the side, stay on the side, stay on the side! No, stay here! Yay, we did it. That was really awkward. I didn't like that at all. Okay, you guys get building. And I'll wait for you on the top. Ah, oh, that was horrible. Well, at least they're on the way back. That's as far as it can go. Yay, well done everyone. Not really sure what else we can do for the rest of the day, really. Let's let them throw that bit in there. Whatever good that is, who knows. This handy light is great for tanning, but it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it will affect my escape from this planet, and perhaps there are other parts like this as well. I've now recovered 28 or 30. Basically, he was just saying that that one was just an optional. Optional extra. There's only one thing left to do. We've, we've done pretty good clearing all this up. Oh, actually, let's leave that for the red ones. Should we put everyone else away? We can power up our red ones ready for the big fight tomorrow. Send everyone else back home. Even though it's kind of scary having red ones out in this area because of all the water everywhere. Mm -hmm. Come and munch on this grass. That was a good idea. Do you think we have time to try and fight him? Should we try it? Come on, everyone. I'm going to take my army in there. We've got time. There's only a few stragglers. They'll be fine. Ignore that. We can do it! Come on, guys! Go, 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 go! <gasps> no way! We did it in one! Oh my god! I did not think it would be that fast. Wow! I've discovered the bow spirits. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. <gasps> can we actually do it? Can we do it now? Oh my god, I can't believe how easy that was. That's insane. I'd really written this off for something to do the next day. Okay, maybe we won't have time to actually get it back. Come on! I can't believe that. So literally all we're going to do next time is just bring this over slightly closer to the ship. Two. 
One. Okay, stop there. Why? Wow, what a finish! That was brilliant. I do like the way they always look at the camera as they're leaving the screen. Dun, 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 dun. Seventeen days since impact. If I can just find two more parts, the dolphin will be fully rebuilt. But time has grown short. And it hasn't really, has it? Come on. Still got thirteen days left. I must not flag in my search. Even if I cannot recover every piece, I shall not give up. Surely some of those parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. We can do it. We can get everything. I believe in me. We've got one more bit to go. What was I doing? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter what colour, really. Should we just bring out whatever colour has the least and try and bolster them ones? Let's do a mix. We can spend the day trying to get some... Get some extra strength going. Did the boss come back, or is there nothing in there now? Ah, uh, we missed out on getting all the pellets from the boss, never mind. If I'd have known we wouldn't have been able to actually get it back, then I would have just waited and done the fight this time instead, but never mind. Is there not going to be any more? Okay. Weird, there's not even any enemies around. Well, apart from the annoying frogs. But who cares about them? There's literally nothing else to do in this level now. We'll just wander around for the rest of the day. The so-called face of the dolphin. In point of fact, I designed it. I have recovered 29 out of 30 parts. My search can now cover a wider area. Yay, we can move on to the final level now. The final challenge. Which, if I remember right, has a very annoying boss fight at the end. What should we do with the rest of the time? Is there even anything on land left to do now? Let's have a look at the map. It is completely empty. Apart from a little red dot somewhere. There's only one Pikmin that even needs feeding. I'm kind of surprised there's not even any pellets to bring back. Literally nothing. And I don't think I ever even used that bridge once. Oh, there is something here. We can get that at least. Don't know why they would hide a yellow one in the fire like that. Where are they going to take it? We can wait for it on the other side. Also not sure what the point of going up there is, because I never had to go up there. That's where that 
little red one is all on his own. Come on. So, where are they going? Better to take it all the way around there. There they are. Oh my god, they used the bridge! I was complaining about them not using the bridge. And then we can swap it for yellow ones when it gets close enough. Not the most riveting stream. I do apologise. Oh, they're coming this way. Come on. The excitement. The suspense. Is that mostly yellow? As long as it's mostly one colour, then it's fine. I suppose we can spend the rest of the time just throwing the blue ones around. Hey, where are you going? This is yellows only. That's it. Go over there. Yay! That's literally it. Go to sunset. We are done here. On to the final stage. How exciting. We can easily do this. We've got one level left and we've got 12 days to do it in. Bum, 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 bum. Eighteen days since impact, at last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered twenty-nine of the missing parts, the dolphin power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support fails in twelve days. Courage! We can do it, we've got twelve days to do the final trial. I'm ready. I remember I used to be terrified. Of this level. Here we go. Do you like the um, shooting stars in the sky? It's all very exciting. There's only one part to do and there's a horrible, horrible boss fight at the end of this. I remember in school someone was trying to boast that they managed to get past the final trial and they kept saying, um, you're not a good enough gamer, you'll never get there. Well, look at me now. Look at me now. Say that to my face. It doesn't even look that scary, really. It's literally just straight up there. But what do we actually need? Let's start with blue. Gone mad trying here. Yes, we're almost done. We're on the final mission. Should we just try and do things as fast as possible? Let's take out 100. I'm usually nervous, but as I've got 12 days left to do this, I think I'll be fine. Although there's a lot of random things to do. So. Let's just start with making these bridges. Uh, I guess it's faster to do them at once. Oh no, they got stuck underneath. I don't know why, but even this music used to scare me as a kid. Oh. Yeah, I would have been a kid when this came out. I would have been... 10. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I got it on day one as well, on Pikmin 1, because I was so excited reading about it in the magazines. And the excitement of getting the GameCube on launch was a lot for a 10-year-old kid. So I, I loved this game when it came out, and I put so much time, so, so many hours into it. Okay, bridge number two. Looks like we need some red ones over there to get through all that fire as well. And then we need a bunch to push that at the back. I suppose the idea is to blow the wall up before you make the bridge, but I'm doing this the uh, the hard way. Let's see how much we can get done in one day. Maybe I should take a few and get some yellow ones. Let's see where the bombs are anyway. The bombs are up here. So you need to be a bit clever. Oh, I suppose I should be doing it at the same time. Hopefully it's not one of them levels where the bridges get brought back because the animals kind of gnaw away at it. But it doesn't seem like there are any on this one. Come on, faster, 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 faster! Two more? Oh, they're done. Excellent. Right, come back. We're going to swap some of you out for yellow ones. Get back in here. Not too many, but I also might make a few mistakes. And there's also some flowers over there to change the colours of everyone as well. So let's leave these ones to rest. Let's get some yellow ones out. And let's go and sort out some bombs over here so that we can make a path all the way through. There's only three, so I don't really need that many. Maybe I kind of overestimated the amount of yellow ones that I would actually need. Come on, there's enough for all three of you. Look around. Right, now when I throw these down here, do not blow up your friends, okay? This is the scary bit, getting them all back over safely. We did it. No, they just need to come down here. Oh, it's uh, it's a really weak gate. It literally will only take three bombs. I thought I would have to do that over multiple days, but that's not too bad. So I think we're done with the yellow ones. We can put these back. I didn't really need to worry, did I? I didn't need to bring the other ones out. Oh well, let's go and get these ones back over. Your work here is done. Well done. You did nothing. Should we get some red ones out? I guess the red ones need to go around the other side. Let's put these away. Maybe we don't need so many blue ones anymore either. And some more red ones in just a second. There we go. Fill the rest out with red. Oh well, the Wii, the Wii version's the best version, so you didn't miss out on much with it on the GameCube. It's definitely the best. The best way to play it is on the Wii. Well, I guess technically because this one's in HD, the best way to play it is on the Switch now. But... Oh really? Do I need to move it? I need to move it to the side, okay. In that case... What? What? Oh, okay. He's dead. I only want the red ones. There we go. I don't know what happened to that red one that fell in between the side of the bridge. I don't know how that happened. Oh, we have to guide them like this. Okay, I can't actually get up there. So I think what I need to do is this.
Yay, it worked! And I can come back up here and guide everyone else across. That's a clever little puzzle, I like that. Oh no, here he is, the final boss. I think this is where you need the yellow ones, because there's bombs for them to... Uh, to fight with. And there's some more bombs up there, so let's take some of these guys back. And then prepare for the worst. I'm kind of scared. Do you think we'll be able to get it done today? We're about halfway through the day. Let's try. We got everyone? We're missing one, apparently. Well, we're missing one lone blue one who decided to stay up there. That's fine. Let's go and get some bombs before we start the fight. There's... Oh no, they're not up there anymore. They've all gone. Do we go around and break the other wall? I'm scared. Stay around the side. He's a bit slow. <laughs> okay. Do we go on a bomb roundup first then? Let's try that. Whoa, they got loads of bombs. And I think there's some more on the other side too. Trying to stop them from falling in. Whoa! Alright, we are loaded! Not doing much. Uh, okay, am I supposed to try and throw it like that? And now he's stunned. That's when I can throw the red ones. Okay. to do that. Why did so many of them die then? I didn't even see what happened. I'm scared. The music's scary. I don't know whether sacrificing these ones is the actual right way to do this or not, but it seems to be working. Come on! Ah, 
Don't jump on me. He's nearly dead. Alright, red ones, are you ready? Uh, oh my god, no! Oh, okay, well it worked anyway. Oh my god, I can't believe that. What? At long last, I found my final part, the secret safe, and it's as full of ever. Full as ever. I'm glad that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids. Back on planet Hockertate. We need to rush back and get some more Pikmin though. I can't believe he ate them all right at the last minute. No way. And he blew himself up because he ate a bomb at the same time. What a way to go. Oh my god, I love it. Let's just send everyone out to go and pick this up. There's probably way more than I actually need, but... Anyway, we did it! That's it! 100% complete! Pikmin 1 is done. We just need to return this to the spaceship and watch the ending. And I managed to do all this in one day. I wasn't expecting to do that. There is a bunch of pellets too. Kind of pointless though, as there's no use for them anymore. Oh well. Go and pick up all your spoils. Hey. And there's a lone few up here that got lost. Oh, thank you. Let's hope everyone can make it back in time. I'd be so annoyed if I can't get this back before the time runs out. I'm going to get these ones to come over and help make it move a bit faster. Don't blow everyone up. That yellow one with the bomb. Come on! Oh my god, we're not going to make it. No, we're not going to make it. Come on! Everyone, push. Four seconds. It needs to get here. Three. Two. Yeah, we did it with two seconds to spare. We did it in one day with two seconds to go on the clock. I've finally recovered every ship part. I can now return home to Hocker Tate. Yeah, we did it. I guess as it's still early, we can move on to Pikmin 2 tonight as well. I can't believe that. That was so close towards the end. I did that fight a lot easier than I thought as well. I remember I really used to struggle with that. I guess my Pikmin skills must have evolved. Was he a bit sad about having to leave the Pikmin behind? Yay! Now they can fend for themselves. They know what to do now. They'll never get eaten at night again. Until Pikmin 2 comes around. Then they will have forgotten everything. We did it. Look at that lovely, dirty JPEG of Earth. <gasps> what are those colours? Some of them still don't exist.
Yay, there we go. And now we get to see my overall stats. I'll take a picture of it to put on Twitter and say that we're going to start playing the second one. Or X, should I say. Let's see what we did. We got everything in only 19 days, which is very impressive. We have 1,182 surviving Pikmin. And we lost 470, which isn't too bad. And total sprouted 1,642. And there we go. There's every single ship part. I'm just going to... Uh, update... Twitch to say that we are moving on to Pikmin 2 and hopefully it will split in two now so that was the end of part one uh, and then if I change these settings here I wish that OBS was easier to update If I do that, hopefully that's updated the info and changed it on Twitch as well. So you should be able to see that it is now Pikmin 2 instead of Pikmin 1. Maybe I finish that a little bit soon because we still have this ending to watch. Nice credits over the planet for a unique design. I can't believe I managed to 100% complete the game in 19 days. That's really impressive. Not sure if there's anything after the credits, but we'll keep watching. I do like the design of them. That's pretty cool. Yay, and some Kirby music to go over it. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know why it's showing the URL for the sound in chat. I didn't know that happened. But I can hear it through my headphones, so that's good, because that didn't work before. Oh yeah, apparently during the credits here, some of the bits that it shows in that video are actually from beta versions of the game, which I think is really interesting. Or well, maybe not on this version, but on the original GameCube version it showed like areas that don't exist and stuff like that. Or like weird versions of enemies. I'm excited to replay Pikmin 2 as well. That's one that I haven't played since it came out, really. I, I tend to go back to Pikmin 1 more because it's a lot faster to play through. Whereas, obviously, Pikmin 2 is a lot more involved with all the different treasures and different dungeons and things. There's just so much more to do in the second one compared to this. Oh, there we go. It's this video here where it sort of shows areas that don't exist. So, let's have a look through these. I don't remember it having those petals falling around the video. That must be new for the HD version. Uh, I hate those enemies. Borrowing Snuggerts. Compared to a burrowing snarrow. Of 
Like, oh no, they killed one. Someone on YouTube is saying I don't I don't look old enough to have owned the Game Boy. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. And I just have an, add another comment here saying that someone bought a copy of Judgment Silver Sword 17 years ago for eighty dollars. That game's over a thousand dollars now. And they passed up on a copy of Dyson Knight for four hundred. No way, that one's about a thousand as well at this point. Damn, I bet he's kicking himself. I passed up on a copy of uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga when I saw that in uh, in Game Station back in the day for like 40 quid or something, so... I can kick myself at a few bad missed opportunities too, unfortunately. How about anyone watching on Twitch, have you had any uh, game collecting woes that you'd like to share? Anything that you wish you'd bought and you didn't, and now you really regret it. What's with this weird music? Blop, 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 blop. I feel it's only right to let these credits play out as we 100% completed the game, so... I was a bit premature changing the title to Pikmin 2. So apologies anyone who is watching this afterwards on Twitch expecting to go straight into Pikmin 2. We'll be there in a bit. Your SNES with a super scope. I have I have two super scopes up there on the top of the shelf and neither of them work. Let's see if we can show you. My finger's really blurry, but yeah, that box there, like, I think you can see it. I'm not sure where the other one is. It's a cool thing though, and I like the fact that Yoshi Safari exists. I think the other one must be in the loft. While we're watching the credits, I'll show you something else too. If you can see him under the desk. No, the microphone's in the way. He's sleeping. On the chair under the table. And if you're curious, if it can turn all the way around, that's where you guys are on this TV screen here. And then that's where the camera goes on there. And then there's the game. I never actually played that missile game for the uh, Super Scope. I've seen loads of screenshots from it. Oh my god, how long does this go on for? Just enjoy the music. I hate those frogs. And yellow Wally Wops. Wally Hops. Hmm. Happy the end. Yay! I'm going to take a screenshot. You enjoyed watching me build the setup? Yay, that's good. I really enjoyed making that video as well. It really was. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here and have this space. I still don't really know what to do with that corner. It's just a bit of a mess. There's just random shelves with some games on. I want to maybe put some games in storage and make it look a bit more presentable, really. But we'll see. Let's see, is there anything else? There is a challenge mode. 
and then there's there's just that so that is it